Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I am your host Rebecca Felgate and today we are delving into the curious world of myths and legends. A different direction although today as we talk the top 10 scary myths that might just be true. Ba -ba -ba. Before we get into that though I want to ask you guys what you think the greatest mystery of all time is. Of all time? I'm very curious to hear. Let me know. Also guys if you don't know yet we have a brand new channel called Tier List where we rank things into different tiers. I'm the Spice Queen, head on over and find out why. Stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to be reading some comments and why don't you click on the links in the description to our most amazing Instagrams. Alright, let's do this. Coming in at number 10 we have UFO cover ups. Have UFOs visited planet earth and did world governments and NASA know about it? That is the rumour but could it be true? The most credible reports of alien sightings are the Foo Fighters, the Battle of Los Angeles, the Ghost Rockets, the Phoenix Lights, the many Washington sightings and of course Roswell. More recently there were sightings in Chicago, South Africa and in Ireland in just 2018. Although I have to say throughout history UFOs were recorded by a lot of people. Ancient civilizations recorded them too. In 1440 BC fiery disks were seen floating in the sky and noted by a scribe to the pharaohs in Egypt. A tale of a UFO crash and burial of its alien pilot made its way to newspapers in Dallas in Fort Worth in April 1890. Many people have spoken out to say that the United States government was running a secret alien base at Area 51. This leads me nicely to more aliens at number 9. We have aliens built the pyramids. So we still don't really know how exactly the pyramids of Giza were built and there's the whole sphinx question too. A lot of people have noticed that the Egyptian pyramids line up perfectly with various astrological configurations including Orion's belt. The pyramids are 4500 years old and made of very very heavy stones. Now, even today such a construction feat would be pretty difficult and a lot of people simply refuse to believe that Egyptians back then could have managed it. The Sphinx seems to be much older than we think too with weather patterns on the rock formations suggesting that actually it was constructed at a time when Egypt was much wetter and far more temperate. However that would totally predate everything we know about society which is very confusing. I know Jack Finch from top 5 scary videos thinks that actually there was a previous super civilization that we just don't know about yet. Others think aliens did it, maybe. Coming into number 8 we have the JFK murder was an inside job. Over 50 years have passed since John F Kennedy was murdered. A lot of people are still talking about it and why? Well that's because reports surrounding his death are fishy and inconsistent. A lot of eyewitnesses report from that day just simply don't corroborate with the main conclusion. The most popular theory is that there was a second shooter. The sources that back this are acoustic recordings from the scene, the position from which one of the shots hit and the number of shots reported by first hand accounts from bystanders on the much famed grassy knoll. Strange goings on that have lent fuel to this conspiracy fire include suggestions of faked autopsy pictures and questions about who was present during the autopsy itself. Some have even gone as far as to suggest that the president's body was tampered with by conspirators in Air Force One who did not want the public to see his real injuries. A lot of people think that Lee Harvey Oswald was actually a stooge for bigger forces at play and that actually Lee Harvey Oswald's death was suspicious too. A lot of people think that Vice President Johnson was in on it or the Secret Service or both. Now I don't claim to know the truth of it but I definitely suspect foul play somewhere and the story just doesn't quite add up. Will we ever know though? Perhaps our next number was behind it. Coming into number 7, we have the New World Order. Illuminati rumors have been going strong for years. In fact, they aren't a myth because the Illuminati were real. They were an Enlightenment era society, and some claim that they were responsible for the French Revolution. But these days, the term is used to describe a mythical secret society that runs the world without us knowing it. It is rumored that Walt Disney was a member of the Illuminati himself and that he used to chair meetings in the elusive club 33 in Disneyland. Some say that Beyonce is a member of the new world order and it's headquartered under Denver airport. I mean honestly who knows, I don't think Beyonce is in on it but I do think that there definitely could be an unelected rich and powerful governing elite body that we just don't know about. Coming into number 6 we have mermaids. Are mermaids real? This is a kind of a difficult one. 
Mermaids have been part of myth and legend since the dawn of sailing. Seafaring is quite the feat and the conditions are harsh. After several days, weeks or months at sea, minds can begin to play tricks. Mermaids have been regularly sighted throughout history with many believing them to be prone to falling in love with humans and saving them from shipwrecks and perhaps even causing them. But of course, mermaids aren't real, they're mythical creatures, or so we think. I mean, to be honest, I was always rooting for Daryl Hannah and Tom Hanks, so I kinda hope they're real. There have been a number of modern day accounts of mermaids too. In British Columbia in 1967, ferry passengers touring around Main Island saw a mermaid sitting on the shore of Helen Point. One passenger, George Harrison, took a picture of a woman who appeared to be eating a fish. Was she a mermaid? The next day, the Daily Colonist magazine wrote an article about the sighting. The article read that several witnesses had seen a mermaid eating a coho salmon. One had even sworn that she'd taken a bite out of it. Eyewitnesses said that they'd seen a long, silver blonde hair and topless woman. It was generally agreed upon by passengers of the ferry. A lot of people said that she had the lower body of a porpoise. Another male witness said that the mermaid was a cute blonde with dimples, and to me, sounds like he fancied her. Can you fancy a myth? That's my question. Coming in at number five, we have the boogeyman. Beware the boogeyman. It is a popular sentiment in a lot of cultures, but actually, on countless occasions, legends of the boogeyman have been proven to be true. Let's talk about one of the OG boogeyman legends. Blooming Cropsey. So Cropsey was a Staten Island boogeyman urban legend that actually sadly turned out to be true. Cropsey was rumoured to be a killer with a hook for a hand who had escaped from a mental institution and hunted children. He was said to live in an old abandoned asylum, the Willowbrook Mental Institution. He would come out late at night, as boogeymen tend to do, and steal children from the streets, torturing them with his hook hand. Parents would actually use Cropsey, like the boogeyman, to warn kids not to miss their curfews or simply misbehave. Others at sleepovers would use his legend to tease people. Sadly though, the legend did become mixed up in reality in the 1970s and 80s when Staten Island children really did start to disappear. Andre Rand started working at the Willowbrook State School, a school for children with learning difficulties. Now Rand actually abducted and murdered five children from the school. He was finally caught in 1987 when a young girl with Down syndrome, Jennifer Schweiger, went missing. Now according to an acclaimed documentary about him, Rand may have been involved in Satan and was possibly killing the children for ritual sacrifice. Ugh. Do all of the boogeyman legends stand up? Is there always a creep behind them? Coming into number four, an old favourite, we have the Loch Ness Monster. Nessie. I've been up to Loch Ness a couple of times in my life and I've been very keen to run into Nessie, but sadly I never have. Will I though, one day? That's the question really. So the official line is that the Loch Ness Monster isn't real, but could it? actually be true. Nessie's popularity rose in 1933 when a man named George Spicer claimed to have seen a 4 foot fat and 12 foot long serpent. Then there was the infamous 1934 photograph and a slew of eyewitnesses. Some cryptozoologists think that Nessie is a surviving plesiosaur, a long necked dinosaur that was supposed to have gone extinct millions of years ago, but somehow impossibly survived in a Scottish lake. I have to shrug and I say I hope it's real because a Scotch monster is pretty cool. What I'm getting at is though, there are probably loads of things going on in our waters that we don't know about. Coming into number three, our phones are listening to us. I mean, I almost didn't put this on this list because I don't think this is a myth. I'm utterly, utterly, utterly convinced that it's true. I have no idea why this hasn't actually been published as a provably true fact. My friends and I now talk about random things as a game really loudly around each other's phones and then wait and see how long it takes for them to suggest products to us on Facebook and Instagram. I actually suspect it's just Facebook owned apps listening as well because it always happens on just Facebook and Instagram. Although I would say probably the rest of the phone is listening too and just being more subtle about it. I'd say check your phone's permission settings, although I think phones are cleverer than that. What are we gonna do when we find out they are listening to us? Like seriously, are we gonna stop using these social media apps? All right, back to cryptids. Coming in at number two, we have the Cyclops. Right now I am loving reading Circe by Madeline Miller. It's a novel that spans thousands of years about the goddess Circe, daughter of the sun. The book talks about a lot of ancient Greek mythology and the story of Odysseus binding the much fabled Cyclops is featured. The legend of the Cyclops is a popular story, but perhaps it does have some element of truth. Cyclops have been observed throughout history. In 2018, a Cyclops baby was born after a woman was exposed to mercury during her pregnancy. Now, Sadly, the child died, but it is possible that a Cyclops could have lived to adulthood, inspiring the legend. 
legends. Speaking of legends, I love to end on a legend. Coming into number one, we have the Lost City of Atlantis. There has been renewed interest in the Lost City of Atlantis recently. As it stands, Atlantis is a legendary city that is mentioned in Greek literature, including by the late great philosopher Plato. It is said that Atlantis was a thriving city filled with affluence and positivity. That was until it sank. Atlantis was said to have sunk right on into the sea in a single day and night. So the myth says. There has since been a lot of speculation as to where the city might be. Many think it could be the Straits of Gibraltar between Africa and Spain. But again, it's a myth, isn't it? The reason why the story may be more credible these days is that actually we found a lot of lost cities. Heracleon, for example, lies off the coast of Egypt under the mouth of the Nile. It was found in the year 2000 by underwater archaeologist Frank Godio. There is Port Royal in Jamaica, the underwater Japanese pyramids, the lost lion city in China, and more. I actually do kind of believe that one day we will find Atlantis and what will be waiting there in the murky depths. So guys, thanks for watching. This video actually kind of excited me. I like talking about myths and legends. Which of these myths do you think will turn out to be true? Let me know in the comments section down below. And don't forget to let me know what you think the world's greatest mystery is. Before I go, I'm just going to read some comments from the top 10 mysterious characters seen in Real Life Part 2. Trisha Randolph said, My favourite fictional character is Groot, without a doubt, who's with me. I do like Groot. Ben Game said, My favourite fictional character and one I want to have a day out with is The Mask. Oh my goodness, you're asking for chaos. Show me to stop him. A great point from Ginger Cat. They said, Who is taking the time to take pictures of the TARDIS? I would knock on the door and look for the doctor. Me too, like, knock, 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 doctor, your new assistant's here. I hope the pay's good and there's healthcare benefits, but like, space and time travel. Cool. Then maybe we could go about solving some of these mysteries on this list and prove them to be true. We've come full circle. If that's not a reason to hire me, doctor, I don't know what is. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave a thumbs up and click on that big beautiful notification bell to stay up to date with more top 10 videos. Of course, do check out the links in our description box and stick around because we've got a whole playlist coming at you. See you later. Bye.